Folks who want to work on their cars but need a lift and some tools can now get that at an hourly rate in Meriden. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dan Kane has this story from Do-It-Yourself Automotive. The sights and sounds at Do-It-Yourself Automotive are pretty much what you'd get at any auto repair shop, but these folks are working on their own cars and they're renting the equipment. Changing a gasket in the exhaust line. Mm -hmm. um, and why did you decide to come here? To get it up on a lift somewhere is going to cost, I would guess, $100, mm -hmm. you know, and the part costs $5. Nobody likes working on their backs in the cold and the snow, and you got a, you got a rusty brake line, what are you going to do, chase it all around on a creeper? You can bring it here, you get it done in an hour. You pull down on the lever and release the pressure. You go. The concept of do-it-yourself lift and tool rental is relatively new around here, but not in other parts of the country. I've been in the military 10 years, and every base I've been to, they've had a, a hobby auto shop, yeah. and uh, that pretty much eliminates the mechanic. Mm -hmm. Plus, there's mechanics there you could hire for a lot cheaper than a repair shop. Hopefully, we can get this one off, and... I'll be out of here in an hour. The rates are $25 an hour for a lift and the use of all the tools, but if you want to buy a bunch of hours weekly or monthly, you can knock that down to $12.50 an hour. There's also a mechanic on duty to offer guidance and advice. If they need, if they have any questions, I can assist them, tell them how to get the job done properly, the safe and quick way. Yeah. Do you ever tell them to give up? No, sir. <laughs> Can't give up. You got to fix your car. What do you do, buy another one? Doing it at my house, I wouldn't be able to do this at my house. So mm -hmm. I figured I used the facility a couple times already, and um, it's awesome. It's a great, a great place to do your own job. Which is not to say that the advice and professional assessment of the repair project is always what the customers want to hear. You're going to need a sledgehammer, a scraper, a welder, and a miracle. <laughs> He's in trouble. He's in trouble. From Meriden, Dan Kane Channel 3, Eyewitness News.